Here's a modified circuit board that can be used by the teacher to demonstrate various combinations of series and parallel circuits. So I have three sockets on here and I'm using a knife switch. A knife switch of course is not necessary but uh, it's nice because you can leave it on for a while. I've got a pair of the Fonstock clips on each side so that I can hook up various combinations. And again, my two cells, in this case, are in series and connected to the circuit board with some wires. Now, watch what happens when I close the circuit here. We have a, the centered light being rather bright. If I turn off the outside one, these two lights go on. If I turn it back on again, the center one brightens up. Turn the outside light on here, and these two are on partially. A mystery. And with this sort of a circuit, you can challenge the brighter students to try to figure out what's actually going on with the circuit. Why does it change when I screw a lamp in or out? Well, what I have here is a special way of wiring it up. And if we trace the electrons in the circuit, we're connected to the switch through this wire to the fine stock clip up in the front, which then goes to the middle light bulb and then connected to the second fine stock clip. Each of the two outside lights are connected to that clip as well. So we have three wires on this clip. The two wires, so the one from the outside and the inside lamp, go to the clip here and back to the battery. So this lamp is in series with these two. These two are in parallel with this one. And so if I unscrew one of them, both of these now are in series. If I put that back in and unscrew the other one, these two are in series. When I have them all on, these two are in parallel with this one in series. And because the current is equally divided between these two, the lights are barely on. And it almost appears as if the lights are off. And so this is one variation that you can make with this apparatus.